okay, so this is what happens when there's too much information and I talk too fast. I had to make this edit and no, I'm not good enough with knowing how to edit in my own podcast, uh, in my own videos um, in a simpler way, I guess to say. There's a lot of stuff. Um, anyway, we can talk about that another day if you really wanted to know because having a podcast is actually in some ways easier than some people think which is why I like this because I can uh, just record from my phone real easily whenever. Oh, the edit on, I started to talk about narcissists and how they are off the chart attractive. And what I meant to say is that they already have traits within themselves that either they created as a child or was created in them from the womb or whatever it is, right? Wherever, because I haven't studied enough there, I just know that it can happen in both situations, okay? So where they develop these types of personalities and trauma, all of that sort of stuff, okay? But I don't know enough to speak about it there. Um, I wonder when I had said the statistics on, I was talking about um, how attractive they are, that maybe one of the reasons that also, I don't know, say exacerbates the or feeds the disorder is being told how hot they are, like their entire lives. And maybe you would understand this to be true if you know of one. But yeah, most of the people... And again, I haven't been around a lot of people um, with this, but all the pe- most of the people I have observed, including my mom, who was, I do think, like kind of an off the chart beautiful, um, and then just other people. And definitely there's lots of first responders that are pretty hot um, in general. So, or whatever words we want to use one day back in the day, I don't know. I feel kind of stupid saying hot fine, whatever you want to call them, attractive. But anyway, um, yes, I just, I forgot to include that part in there. It's just that I was wanting to say, I wonder if that's a part that feeds into, um, uh, I guess, who they are, how they act and different things like that and being told about it so constantly. Not anybody's generally saying, you know, hey, you're a really good person or, you know, anything like that. Um, It's just pretty much how sexy, hot you are, attractive you are. And then maybe you're getting lots of, you know, banging all the time anyway. So again, that just feeds your, um, feeds you in how you externally, you know, think you look and appear. So that's all I wanted to say with that one. And, um, I know that was a lot of information, but at least it gave you a little bit of clip. Now I have to hold true to coming back with that episode. So I'm going to try to keep it brief in my recommendations of speaking to somebody on that. Uh, but lastly, uh, one of my mentors, this, this lastly, because this is important, one of my mentors for my self-defense training from the UK, his name is Richard Grannon. He's the Spartan life coach. He has had tons of experience with experiences with his former girlfriends, like very traumatic, almost to the point of being suicidal, um, in his relationships with them. So he is a huge, um, what would I say? He knows a lot. I almost want to say he could be considered an expert on um, narcissistic abuse. And he's the one that I learned actually from him and his whole platform seeing on there, all of the people that have gone through this and um, all this stuff that I didn't know about. So um, and then that goes into leading the talk of, you know, what we think of is a, as is abusive uh, because sometimes this is normal how people are treated they think that it's normal so it's hard for them to recognize and or they like the person right away they get close right away and apparently the reoccurring theme is these sorts of things don't come out with a narcissist until about six months later so if you think uh, if you want to know more about it or whatever he really has a lot of great information um, I don't know if he keeps up on his Spartan life SpartanLifeCoach.com. I think that's what it is. But Richard Grannon, he is on YouTube. He has a lot of previous videos um, on his self-defense stuff back in the day. Um, 
but yes, so I will end by closing with that. If you want to learn more about it, like I said, I was always very intrigued by this personality disorder because it's so damn confusing. And um, sorry, sometimes if I repeat myself a lot, or like I said with this, um, because I didn't have anything written down, that's what happens. The information, like I just get lost in my mind. Sometimes I'm talking about too much stuff, but I thought that was important to uh, include in there in case you were like, what the hell was she talking about? Um, okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.